All right, welcome back to another episode of Through the Roof, a consumer-focused podcast where we talk about all things residential metal roofing. I'm back in the booth here at the True Metal Supply booth. I'm your host, Mason Burchett, with my co-host, Adam Clark. What's up, man? What's up, man? Yeah, it was a long intro. It took me a second to get through it. Yeah, it sounded good, uh, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nice hat. I almost can't see it. <clears throat> well, it's because it's camouflage. It's camouflage. Yeah. So this is uh, our buddy's Atlas. That's Atlas one of the fasteners. OG Atlas fastener hats. You know, so when I was going through my hat collection and I was looking at, you know, hey, how can I, how can I mix it up in the episodes? Because I like the true blue shirt. Okay. We got the blue background. Yeah. So I thought I'd try to rotate some hats in and uh, yeah, yeah at, the old Atlas fasteners hat. You're basically invisible. My head, the top of my head is. Yeah, well, and the shirt because it's blue. <laughs> That's true. No one That's see. true. That was a dad joke. Well, what are we what are we talking about today, Mason? Well, today we're talking about uh, you know another myth that surrounds metal roofing as a residential product, and that's that metal roofing ages quickly. If I put a metal roof in my home, in five years it's going to look like crap. It's not going to perform anymore. Is that true? It's not true, and this is one of the misconceptions um by the general public that honestly really kind of just affects me the most maybe emotionally <laughs> the, the reality is you know what grinds my gears yeah and it's not it's not the homeowner's fault it's 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 distributors faults poor quality metal is available specifically poorly painted metal is available to the mm. general public and there is this um veil of truth you know from these suppliers who are saying yeah it's a 40-year product or you should expect 40 years when they know it's a paint system that is going to fail in just a couple of years and so i really feel like it's part of my job part of my responsibility is to help inform people that metal roofing high quality metal roofing should last you 40 plus years and it should look good the entire time and when I see roofs out there that are aging, uh, you know, a dark green roof that turns lime green in oh, two yeah. years. The old red roof that turns pink. Well, I have to ask myself, why, did one of two things happen? One, did a homeowner just say, hey, I'm just going to save $15 a linear foot and buy a <laughs> cheaper system, which if that's your prerogative, I mean, I guess that's fine. But Or did somebody, did a, did a, a, a reseller of metal roofing pull a, a quick one on someone right and that's that's not healthy it's not good for anybody it's not it's not honest to the homeowner but it's not healthy for our industry when the general public thinks so oh, metal roofing just fades it's going to look bad in a couple of years when the reality is when you're working with the right products when you're working with the right providers you're going to get a system that's going to look beautiful for 40 plus years that you're not going to have to maintain that you're not going to have to worry about that you're not going to have to go out and clean in most cases um, so yeah, that's why that kind of just, it, it kind of hits me. A yeah, bit. I can tell that it's really bothers you. Yeah. I'm going to have to ask you to calm down a little bit. No, it is true. Uh, there's a lot of, of subpar coatings out there that are being applied to metal roofing that give it a bad name. That's why you see the green roof turn yellow. And so people, uh, we, we were at a, a home show, um, just the other day and I heard somebody ask that, is this going to turn yellow in five years if I get green? And I got the opportunity to explain to them, no. And we had our, our Sherwin Williams coil coatings pop up banner there. Uh, thanks Jason. And we, I was able to walk over there and show them the high quality domestic coatings that we use on our metal roofing panels that have a 40 year warranty on the paint. Um, that's a high quality silicone modified polyester. It's not a cheap poly paint uh, that's that's going to turn 50 shades of gray, over, you know, over the course of five years. Another thing, Adam, that we're seeing um, that's, and I don't th think even a lot of manufacturers even totally understand what they're doing here. And this is certainly a lot of smaller companies um, is they're putting good, paint mm -hmm. on bad uh substrates, substrates. Yeah. and so you're, you're still seeing performance issues and they're touting these 40 40 year paint and these costs are way lower and it's because they're compromising on the integrity of the galvalum coating or some of the substrates that are re really required to make that uh paint system perform well and so you're seeing uh, early aging of metal roofing materials on some of those products as well so it's really important um, that, you know, you're, you're buying from a manufacturer, we'd like to think like us, that is taking the steps to make sure that every part of the metal roofing system from the steel to the substrate to the final coating is high quality domestic products. Yeah. And you talk about, you know, domestic products. We're talking about domestic products. So we're talking about domestic steel, so steel that's milled here in the United States, rolled and, uh, and, and then 
coded here in the United States as well. And we, again, we partner with Sherwin Williams because we believe that they have the best paint uh, for the coated coil industry. And we also believe that the, their partners, um, you know, s some of the coating facilities have the best processes to apply that. And so if you go with a foreign coil, sometimes you have a good paint that's applied poorly. Sometimes you have a poor paint that's applied okay. And sometimes you have a poor paint that's applied poorly and you get these <laughs> results. You get fading, cracking, chipping, chalking of your paint. And it's totally avoidable by working with a good, reputable domestic supplier. And so that's really one thing that we like to talk about, we try to focus on, um, is the 40-year paint warranty with the coils that we purchase and that we pass along to our customers. And essentially the substrate, you know, so the steel is protected by multiple layers. You've got the steel, which is a corrosive product. I mean, if steel is exposed to moisture, then it will start to break down and age. But that's why you have seven layers of primers and acrylic coating and galvalum coating and paint that's protecting the steel so that it doesn't have that exposure and it doesn't start to break down. Essentially, if you have um, kept all of your surface coats intact, the steel should last forever. I mean, there's really just not a lot that will cause the steel to break down over time out, so outside of moisture exposure. Yeah. Um, so, you, you know, these, uh, these coatings that we're using here in the States, the reason we keep referencing the states and domestic coatings is quality control standards here are much higher typically than we're seeing abroad um, in the United States. We believe in United States steel. We believe in 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 that as a principle, but we also believe in it as a, an integrity of the product because we do see quality control standards here being better than um, than they are abroad. Yeah. And so when we talk about the quality standards, there's a couple of things that we can talk about. The, the main thing is... Um, Anything that's exposed to the sun, anything that's exposed to UV will age. You know, it will have some degree of aging. What we have is we have a 30-year fa fade warranty on our, on our paint. So for 40 years, it's not going to chalk, chip, crack, or break down. For 30 years, it's not going to fade beyond a certain unit. And it's a very, very high standard. It's, it, it, com it competes with the automotive industry. You're going to have this really, really high quality paint system. But one of the best parts about the warranty is it states that you will not have an inconsistent fade over the span of your roof. Mm -hmm. So as time goes on, if you're 30 years down the road, yeah, maybe your green is not exactly the same shade of green it was the day that it was installed and if you put a brand new panel up there you might be able to tell that it's lightened a little bit but you won't be able to see that by itself there's not going to be one panel that's changing while the others remain the same um, and so that's something that's really important when you talk about hey how's my roof going to actually look you know and the change is so gradual that you may not ever notice it even after 30 years you might not ever notice that it's changed from the original color just because the change has been consistent and it's happened over the course of a long span of time right uniformity and as, as ages and it's not a it's not a, a fast aging process it's also important to note this is not something that's unique to metal roofing anything out in the sun is going to fade even asphalt shingles or any other building material Anything that's exposed to the sun over the course of 30 or 40 years is going to change. Sure. And so uh, we're not saying it's never going to change. What we are saying is that it's going to perform during that 40-year warranty and that it's it's going to fade evenly and still going to look great over the course of the lifetime of that metal roof. I mean, 40 years. How long have you been alive? 27 years. Yeah. So you're Yeah, like, I don't I won't even make you're it. Half, 40. You're half you're halfway through the lifespan <laughs> of a metal roof. Yeah. You, you know, so I think that's just important for people to keep in perspective too. You know, you talk about shingles having a 12-year lifespan on average. A good quality metal roof is 40 plus years and that should be very very realistic. But another thing to, to keep in mind in terms of the warranty and in terms of longevity of the system is that um you know, we handle at True Metal Supply, we handle any warranty claims on our customer's behalf. So if there is an issue with a paint system, if there's paint that's fading inconsistently or non-uniformly, if there's any uh, paint that's peeling or chipping or cracking, you don't have to go and try to track down somebody at Sherwin-Williams. We do that for you. So right. that helps make sure that if there are any issues, and 
you know, I've been in the industry for almost 15 years and I've, I've not had one legitimate paint claim come across my plate. We've, we've, we've investigated some to see kind of what was happening and more often than not, it's a, you know, new construction with red clay around and the red clay kind of builds up in the air and settles on the roof and just needs to be cleaned off. But, um, we are, we would be your advocate and we would help make sure that you get the longevity of that system that it's supposed to have. Yeah. And so, uh, final point here, metal roofing is not a new product. It's been around a long time. Yeah. Metal roofing, steel roofing, metal, metal's been used for decades and, and centuries. Um, and it's, it's not like it's a concept. It's a tried and true building material roofing system um, that has performed excellently, excellently for many, many, many years. And if it didn't work, the industry would not be growing. I mean, I think that's kind of what it always comes back to for me. We have more and more people who are excited. Residential metal roofing is growing exponentially every year. And if the systems were not good, if they didn't offer value, if there wasn't confidence that they're going to last as long as they're supposed to last, I think that we would see that trend slowing down and stopping. But mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of, of, of homeowners who are really happy with their decision to go with a metal roof. And they've already seen the benefits, even if it's just by year five or year 10 or year 15, maybe somebody hasn't experienced 40 years, but yep. it doesn't take long to realize, Hey, I don't have to think about this roof or it's self cleaning. You know, when it rains, it kind of wipes everything off and it looks good and looks new and i've not seen paint fade uh ch any changes so um i think the the proof is in the pudding yeah i mean uh, when i think to some of the beautiful architecture over in europe and in asia i mean a lot of those buildings have copper roofs on them you know which is a metal roof mm -hmm. they've been there forever you know I, or the i think of, i'm from Asheville, north carolina and the 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 skyline there's got First Baptist of Asheville. It's known for that giant copper dome mm -hmm. roof that's on there. It's been there for forever. I mean, it's, it's it's people don't look at beautiful architecture and say, "Wow, look at those great asphalt shingles." They've been on there for hundreds right. of years. <laughs> you know, like that just doesn't happen. Uh, metal roofing is one of those things that that uh, I mean, over the course of decades and, de and in some cases even hundred plus years, um, just some maintenance makes these roofs last literally multiple generations so metal roofs they do not have a short lifespan no, that, no. did we did we bust the did myth we bust the myth busted metal roofing lasts a long time looks great for a long time so you heard it here first so, <laughs> thanks guys for tuning in uh to another episode through the roof if you liked what you hear and you want to hear more go ahead and hit the subscribe button for us or don't you know it's a free country you can do what you want so we'll talk to you guys next time